All right, cool. Uh, hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, we're just going to be doing a quick demo to show off some of the capabilities of Anchor's SIFT SBOM tool uh, and then the vulnerability scanner. Uh, Grape. My name is Christopher Phillips. I'm one of the maintainers and developers on SIFT and Grape. Uh, I'm just going to give you kind of a quick walkthrough of what it's like to install the tools and how you can get started using them. So the first thing we want to do is you can see I don't have SIFT installed at all. Uh, it's really easy to install SIFT. You can just do curl SSFL, and then we have our GitHub user content. There's an install script, and we can pipe that and put it into user local bin. Uh, this is for users who just want to be on CI and install this in the latest tag, um, but also for those who are just using the command line on SIFT or on OSX, you can do brew install uh, SIFT as well, and that will work. So we have both options for you. Uh, the next thing we want to look is just the fact that you know, can build a software build materials for an image. So if I want to test this, let's do time, sift o, json, db and latest, and we'll do output.json. And we'll take a look at what this, uh, what this produces. Great, so we found 96 packages in the Debian image. Uh, it took about seven seconds. Let's take a look at that output.json. Uh, so at the top here, we've got artifacts, and we start you know, at the very beginning of our list. So the add user package with the version 3.118 uh, was found by our deb db cataloger, and then we can queue all the way down, discovered some licenses, there's a CPE that's associated with it, and then all of the metadata about said package. Cool. Um, it also parses and finds the values for the different files that are associated with that package. And if I page down even further from here, we can go to the next package, which would be something like um, apt. Great. And so if we keep perusing through all of these lines, we'd see all of the packages that were built. And at the bottom here, we also have a great uh, kind of inclusion, which is the descriptor of the distro that all of this was found at. So if you forget what image you scanned, you can still get the distro detection of what was built uh, and where these packages came from. Uh, the cool thing about this as well is that I can do time sift, not just dash o dot json, but I can do cyclone dx dot json. We'll see that get produced. And then if I do time sift dash o, I think I have another one. We have spdx.json as well, and that can go to spdx.json. Nice, and we'll take a look at these. Uh, let's vim cyclone dx.json first. Uh, so yeah, now we have the bomb format with the spec version 1.4, uh, and SIFT has been proven to be pretty format agnostic. Uh, you can also get the XML versions of these as well, uh, but you know, JSON is easier to display for the demo. So again, SIFT package and uh, output agnostic, get whatever machine readable format floats your boat, or if you're really just stretched for time and want to see the packages from a human readable list, you can do SIFT DB and latest and get kind of a cursory just view from the terminal table list of all the packages. That's really cool. All right. So uh, what about the other part? Uh, well, we can do, let's show brew install grape real fast. Uh, you can also use the curl endpoint that I showed before, just like we did with SIFT. Um, but, you know, either or, I'm on a Mac right now. So installing grape is easy uh, through both pathways. Hopefully this doesn't go crazy and do the brew outdated for everything and we just get all of the grape installed. Oh, excellent. Perfect. Installing from Anchor Grape. Uh, and let's, while this is happening, let's build a new pane. Oh, cool. This one's finished. All right. Um, so we can run grape the same way. So if I do time grape and let's do again our Debian latest. This is interesting because what this is going to do is this is going to pull down the vulnerability DB from our uh, public feed endpoint. It's going to load the image. It's going to build the SBOM, uh, and then it's going to generate a list of CVEs uh, that are associated with the DB and latest kind of image. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, you can get this also in a JSON format, just kind of a rich context of what you want. Uh, but one of the cooler parts about this is if I do gripe, boop, 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 boo. Instead of doing Debian latest, right? Let's do cat and let's do our output.json from our last command. And then let's do that into grape. Oh, that was slick. So if the first one was 10 seconds, time cat output.json, pipe that into grape. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but this is less than a second. So it's 10 times slower to generate the S bomb. Than it is to take an SBOM that was previously generated and scan it with Grape. 
So if you think about that in compute time of your images, if you're constantly rebuilding and analyzing the same image that has not changed at all, you're just pulling it from a distro that you have internally, you're spending 10x the compute time than if you stored the SBOM of that image, didn't have to parse it all over again, and got the same snapshot of the vulnerability report. Um, so this is kind of why here at Anchor and just tools in general, uh, I'm huge in favor of SBOMs being produced and becoming more accurate, um, just because on the you know, compute and speed of light kind of problem side, we're getting closer uh, to making vulnerabilities easier to uh, appear and kind of peruse and go through, uh, as well as generate them faster so we're not spending as much time on our cloud instances or on process time just waiting for these reports to come out. So that's all I have for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you get started with Sift and Grape. Uh, we'll put up some little forms here at the bottom of the video. You check it out in the description. You can go to the different Anchor links uh, to get downloaded and get started. And also just uh, at me on GitHub, or any of the issues, or just ping me uh, at SpiffCS. And yeah, I can answer your questions and help you out. Uh, thanks so much for coming today. And I hope you have a good rest of the day.